Alaska, I didn't get the opportunity to see a lot of videos, so Welcome to Hell was like, it kind of set in stone of like what I thought skateboarding was. It represented skateboarding very well for me. Over time, I grew to love videos like photosynthesis. You can go through the years and there's tons and tons of videos that impact me, but those two are the first two that stand out the most. Welcome to Hell and then photosynthesis, and they're both kind of opposite ends of the spectrum, but they're both amazing videos. Misled Youth, of course, I think it was like gnarly for everybody. Anybody that watched that video when it came out was blown away. The way that like, Jamie used the fish eye. The skating was gnarly, it was fast paced, and he created a look of what Zero was supposed to be, what he wanted it to be. My current position at Black Box is a video productions manager, and I've been there for just about nine years now. Pop War used to exist, and I got laid off from working there. And Cairo, being a good friend, you know, knew that I needed another job, so he reached out to Jamie, and Jamie was basically just like, sure, yeah, let me check out the stuff you've done, and kind of just spiraled from there. I mean, Jamie Thomas. He has an eye for almost everything. He's very artistic, he's very hands-on with all of his, you know, his projects, his companies, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Working with him on stuff, it's actually great sometimes because you have somebody else that sees the same things as you. Sure, we butt heads in the editing room and things like that, but that, that's all part of having a relationship, a friendship with somebody. You're not always going to agree, but I mean, the dude has proved himself time and time again that he knows how to make great videos, so there's no point arguing. I value his opinion. Like, I mean, that's just it, plain and simple. I used to be just like the dude in the gutter, like with the fish eye on, chasing the dude down, like, and that's still rad, it's still amazing, I still appreciate it, like, so much more. Now I'm kind of on the sidelines where it's like, I have to envision, like, the bigger picture and make sure we're trying to capture kind of the entire scene of what's going on, not just that specific trick. The favorite video that I've ever worked on, which was Ride the Sky, is by far just kind of the project I felt like everybody was on the same page, everybody had the same goals, everybody was at the same point in their life where, all we were doing is just going and skating. Like, it felt like it was 24 hours a day at some point. Looking back now, you know, maturing a little bit and kind of seeing the bigger picture, there's a lot of rad shit that happened that just, it's, it's just memory. Like, you're like, oh. There's a whole world out there that most people just never experience. They just get stuck in the, the same routine of just jumping in the car and driving to handrail A or driving to handrail B. There's a whole different world out there that, I mean, get out there and experience. If you have the means to do it, do it. Like. Why not? <laughs> so Rollers Traveled is just basically a project just about the homies, the team, you know, just going to kind of exotic locations, just getting out there and skateboarding. Whatever situation that arises, whatever, just making the best of it and just kind of going out there and doing it. We want it to be as fun as it possibly can. And Going out and skating the world and exploring new things, it just all kind of like had that vibe to it. I mean, it felt great. Like we didn't need to do another project like right on the back of Ride the Sky that was just gonna burn everybody out even more. Like, let's go do something fucking fun. Thailand, I think, tripped everybody out. <laughs> they had more fun on any trip than they've ever been on. Like, probably for any other companies. Like, that's kind of a big claim, but I think it's it's real. The way we were kind of originally were coming up with the locations is we just were picking out spots on a globe that have always seemed like exotic locations that would be like, oh, that would be cool to go to, that would be cool, oh, that would be rad, like all those places. But then you have to come up with the money to go to those places. This place is reasonable, this place is reasonable. That's kind of how we ended up deciding on our individual locations is like, what could we realistically do with the amount of money that we had? I don't know what else to say. Watch the video, you see for yourself, figure it out.